Pentium is a brand used for a series of x86 compatible microprocessors produced by Intel. In its most current form, a Pentium processor is a consumer level product that Intel rates as two stars, meaning that it is above the low end Atom and Celeron products but below the faster Core i3, i5, and i7 lines as well as the high end Xeon processors. The name Pentium is originally derived from the Greek word pent, meaning five, and the Latin ending num. The current Pentium processors only share the name but are in fact based on the same processor chips that are used in the Intel core but are typically used with a lower clock frequency, a partially disabled L3 cache and some of the advanced features such as hyper-threading and virtualization disabled. Overview During development Intel generally identifies processors with code names, such as Prescott, Willamette, Copermin, Catme, Klamath or Destutes. These usually become widely known, even after the processors are given official names on launch. History The original Pentium branded CPUs were expected to be named 586 or i586, to follow the naming convention of previous generations. However, as the company wanted to prevent their competitors from branding their processors with similar names, Intel attempted to file a trademark on the name in the United States only to be denied because a series of numbers was not considered distinct. Following Intel's previous series of 8086, 80186, 80286, 80386, and 80486 microprocessors, the company's first P5-based microprocessor was released as the original Intel Pentium on March 22, 1993. Marketing firm Lexicon Branding was hired to coin a name for the new processor. The suffix um was chosen as it could connote a fundamental ingredient of a computer, like a chemical element, while the prefix pent could refer to the fifth generation of x86. Due to its success, the Pentium brand would continue through several generations of high-end processors. In 2006, the name briefly disappeared from Intel's roadmaps, only to re-emerge in 2007. In 1998, Intel introduced the Celeron brand for low-priced microprocessors. With the 2006 introduction of the Intel Core brand as the company's new flagship line of processors, the Pentium series was to be discontinued. However, due to a demand for mid-range dual-core processors, the Pentium brand was repurposed to be Intel's mid-range processor series, in between the Celeron and Core series, continuing with the Pentium dual-core line. In 2009, the dual core suffix was dropped, and new x86 microprocessors started carrying the plain Pentium name again. Pentium branded processors, P5 microarchitecture based, the original Pentium and Pentium MMX processors were the superscalar follow on to the 80486 processor and were marketed from 1993 to 1999. Some versions of these were available as Pentium Overdrive that would fit into older CPU sockets. Pentium P6 microarchitecture based, in parallel with the P5 microarchitecture, Intel developed the P6 microarchitecture and started marketing it as the Pentium Pro for the high-end markets in 1995. It introduced out-of-order execution and an integrated second-level cache and dual-chip processor package. The second P6 generation replaced the original P5 with a Pentium 2 and rebranded the high-end version as Pentium 2 Xeon. It was followed by a third version called the Pentium 3 and Pentium 3 Xeon, respectively. The Pentium 2 line added the MMX instructions that were also present in the Pentium MMX. Versions of these processors for the laptop market were initially called Mobile Pentium 2 and Mobile Pentium 3. Later versions were called Pentium 3M. Starting with the Pentium 2, the Celeron brand was used for low-end versions of most Pentium processors with a reduced feature set such as a smaller cache or missing power management features. Pentium Pro Pentium 2 Pentium 3 Netburst microarchitecture based In 2000, Intel introduced a new microarchitecture called Netburst with a much longer pipeline enabling higher clock frequencies than the P6-based processors. Initially, these were called Pentium 4 and the high-end versions have since been called just Xeon. As with Pentium 3, 
there are both mobile Pentium 4 and Pentium 4M processors for the laptop market, with Pentium 4M denoting the more power-efficient versions. Enthusiasts' version of the Pentium 4 with the highest clock frequency were called Pentium 4 Extreme Edition. The Pentium D was the first multi-core Pentium, integrating two Pentium 4 chips in one package and was also available as the Enthusiast Pentium Extreme Edition. Pentium 4 Pentium D Pentium M microarchitecture based, in 2003, Intel introduced a new processor based on the P6 microarchitecture called Pentium M, which was much more power efficient than the mobile Pentium 4. Pentium 4M and Pentium 3M dual core version of the Pentium M was developed under the codename Yona and sold under the marketing names Core Duo and Pentium Dual Core. Unlike Pentium D, it integrated both cores on a single chip. From this point, the Intel Core brand name was used for the mainstream Intel processors and the Pentium brand became a low-end version between Celeron and Core. All Pentium M-based designs including Yona are for the mobile market. Pentium M Pentium Dual Core Core microarchitecture based, the Pentium Dual Core name continued to be used when the Yona design was extended with 64-bit support, now called the Core Microarchitecture. This microarchitecture eventually replaced all netburst based processors across the four brands, Celeron, Pentium, Core and Xeon. Pentium Dual Core processors based on the Core microarchitecture use the Allendale and Wolfdale 3M designs for desktop processors and Merum 2M for mobile processors. Pentium Dual Core Pentium In 2009, Intel changed the naming system for Pentium processors, renaming the Wolfdale 3M-based processors to Pentium, without the dual-core name and introduced new single and dual-core processors based on Penryn under the Pentium name. The Penryn core is the successor to the Merum core and Intel's 45NM version of their mobile series of Pentium microprocessors. The FSB is increased from 667 MHz to 800 MHz and the voltage is lowered. Intel released the first Penryn core the Pentium T4200, in December, 2008. In June 2009, Intel released the first single-core processor to use the Pentium name, a consumer ultra-low-voltage Penryn core called the Pentium Su2700. In September 2009, Intel introduced the Pentium Su4000 series together with the Celeron Su2000 and Core 2 Duo Su7000 series, which are dual-core CULV processors based on Penryn 3M and using 800 MHz FSB. The Pentium Su4000 series has 2 MB L2 cache but is otherwise basically identical to the other two lines. Nehalem Microarchitecture based, the Nehalem Microarchitecture was introduced in late 2008 as a successor to the Core Microarchitecture, and in early 2010. A new Pentium G6950 processor based on the Clarkdale design was introduced based on the Westmere refresh of Nehalem, which were followed by the mobile P6XXX based on Arandale a few months later. On January 7, 2010, Intel launched a new Pentium model using the Clarkdale chip in parallel with other desktop and mobile CPUs based on their new Westmere microarchitecture. The first model in the series is the Pentium G6950. The Clarkdale chip is also used in the Core i3-5XX and Core i5-6XX series and features a 32nm process, integrated memory controller and 45nm graphics controller and a third-level cache. In the Pentium series, some features of Clarkdale are disabled. Compared to Core i3, it lacks hyper-threading and the graphics controller in the Pentium runs at 533 MHz while in the Core i3 i3-5XX series they run at 733 MHz. Dual video decode that enables Blu-ray picture and picture hardware acceleration is disabled as well as deep color and XVYCC support. The memory controller in the Pentium supports DDR3-1066 Max, the same as the Core i3 i3-5XX series. The L3 cache is also 1 MB less than in the Core i3-5XX series. Sandy Bridge Microarchitecture based, the Sandy Bridge Microarchitecture was released in the Pentium line on May 22, 2011. A all models share the following details, 
2 cores, 2 logical processors, CPU ID Signature 206A7, Family 6, Model 42, Stepping 7, BTLB slash cache 64 byte prefetching. Data TLB 02 MB or 4 MB pages, 4 way associative, 32 entries. Data TLB 4 KB pages, 4 way set associative, 64 entries. Instruction TLB 4 KB pages, 4 way set associative, 128 entries. L2 TLB 1 MB, 4 way set associative, 64 byte line size. Shared second level TLB 4 KB pages, 4 way set associative, 512 entries. Cool models feature, on chip floating point unit, enhanced Intel speed step technology, Intel 64, XD bit, Intel VTX, smart cache. D all models support, MMX, SSE, SSE2, SSE3, SSSE3, SSE4.1. SSE 4.2, EHD graphics contains 6 EUs as well as HD graphics 2000, but does not support the following technologies, Intel Quick Sync Video, Intel U3D, Clear Video HD, Wireless Display, and it doesn't support 3D video or 3D graphics acceleration. IB Bridge Microarchitecture based, currently, there exist models G2010, G2020, G2120, G2030 and G2130. All are dual core and have neither hyper threading nor turbo boost. Pentium compatible Intel processors, due to its prominence, the term Pentium compatible is often used to describe any x86 processor that supports the IA32 instruction set and architecture. Even though they do not use the Pentium name, Intel also manufactures other processors based on the Pentium series for other markets. Most of these processors share the core design with one of the Pentium processor lines, usually differing in the amount of CPU cache, power efficiency or other features. The notable exception is the Atom line, which is an independent design. Celeron, a low-end version, Core, the mainstream version including Core 2 and Core i7, now placed above Pentium, Xeon, a high-end version used in servers and workstations, A100. An ultra mobile version of Pentium MEP80579, a system on a chip based on Pentium M, Atom, current ultra mobile processors, see also, list of Intel Pentium microprocessors, list of Intel Pentium dual core microprocessors, Pentium bug, a well publicized flaw in the original processor, performance rating, informally referred to as Pentium rating, it's all about the Pentiums, a song by Weird. Al Yankovic, References